Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to Petit Cavi. They are small, straight or flipped over, more or less hairy, but above all, they are very useful for guinea pigs. That's right, those are their cute little ears. But how exactly to help our little fur babies keep these important body parts clean and healthy? Should we wash them? Should we leave them alone? Let's jump right into today's video and talk all about ear health. First of all, guinea pigs have excellent hearing. They can hear sound frequencies that are inaudible to the human ear and learn very quickly to associate certain sounds with actions or behaviors. A wonderful example would be when we open the fridge door and start rustling the bag of veggies. I'm sure you've noticed your little fur babies get excited because they know or at least hope something delicious to nibble on will soon appear. Just like humans, guinea pigs can sometimes suffer from an accumulation of earwax and dry skin in their ears. Thank God, ear infections are quite rare in guinea pigs. Weekly ear checks are suggested to detect any abnormalities. Guinea pigs' ears should be free from scabs and fall odors. If their ears smell bad or there's discharge or several whitest scabs, a visit to your trusted vet is highly recommended. If you need to clean your liver ball's ears, all you need is a few Q-tips or a small towel and warm water. A small plate of vegetables on hand could prove to be quite useful as well. Set your guinea pig up to be comfortable and relaxed. Guinea pigs are known to be a little nervous and don't like to have their ears examined, let alone clean. Wet the cotton swab or the tip of your small towel and run it over the ear lob to clean it. You have the option of replacing the water with olive oil or mineral oil if the dirt is tough or harder to remove. It is very important though not to go too far inside the ear, as you can end up inside the inner ear of the guinea pig. You can risk pushing ear wax and dirt into the ear cavity and causing a plug or other health hearing problems. If you're not comfortable with cleaning or your fur baby is not cooperating, you can take them to the vet for an ear examination and cleaning and other treatments if necessary. As you already know, all guinea pigs are different, just like us humans. Some will produce a lot of earwax, while others will produce very little. The environment also plays a role in the condition of the ears. For example, a guinea pig that spends a lot of time outside or lives outdoors will have dirtier ears than one that lives exclusively in the house. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video useful 
and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!